Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video we saw what was the ROC that is the receiver operating characteristic and AUC that is the area under the ROC curve. Now in today's video let's see what is the ISO accuracy curves or ISO accuracy lines. So basically ISO accuracy lines are used as an alternative or it's an improved version of the ROC curves in order to uh, deal with the class skew or the class imbalance. So uh, we'll just understand the ISO accuracy lines concept with the help of an example. So before that, uh, let's uh, read some of the pointers. So ROC plots can be augmented with ISO accuracy lines which connect the ROC points with the same accuracy. Means uh, ISO accuracy lines have the same accuracy as the ROC curves. So uh, it's like just it is just an augmented function so you can have more improved version of uh, the ROC. So uh, ISO accuracy lines are helpful for visually selecting the optimal classification model from a set of model candidates. Say for example uh, you have uh, M12 uh, M10 model and uh, like uh, you have uh, n number of different models and you want to determine which model is the most optimistic one or which is the uh, most suitable one for your business application or for uh, doing your machine learning task. So uh, with ROC however it takes time uh, like uh, drawing the graph and then calculating the area under the ROC. So uh, ISO accuracy just gives a better version or it uh, just simplifies the task of that uh, selecting the model. So more specifically uh, the optimal model that is M star so here M star refers to uh, n number of models like uh, star can be of uh, like any number like you, you have M1 to M5 like for 5 models or M10, M30. So uh, accordingly uh, to calculate the accuracy the model where there is uh, no point to the upper left of its ISO accuracy line. So uh, you have uh, some uh, curves like this. So uh, this is where your FPR comes that is on the x-axis and on the y-axis you have the TPR. So you have some lines uh, like this. So uh, this essentially says that uh, the model it selects according to the accuracy in the model where there is no point to the upper left. Upper left is this portion. So here there should be uh, no curve or no lines. So uh, the uh, line which comes at the very first in this portion uh, would be the most accurate one or uh, that model has the highest accuracy. So uh, let's move on to the problem. So uh, you have uh, say P. So P denote the fraction of positive instances from the data set and for a given accuracy you have A which is represented the true positive rate TPR of the corresponding ISO accuracy line can be calculated as a function of the FPR. So this is how the uh, function of uh, ISO accuracy lines is given. So it is basically TPR is equal to uh, this quantity that is A minus 1 minus P upon P plus this portion into FPR. So uh, this you can just uh, see as this can be represented as the equation of a line that is y is equal to mx plus c that is slope intercept form. So here y can be mapped to tpr this c that is a constant that refers to here then uh, x part remains this fpr that is on the x axis and this m that is slope. So we are mainly interested in finding the slope of each line so that we can plot it on the graph and you can just graphically uh, understand which of the model is better. So uh, in this we have one figure so it depicts the ROC points of five candidates so we have five uh, models and you need to draw the ISO accuracy line for each of the model and select uh, the M star that is select one of the model according to the following class Q means you have the class imbalance probabilities given so you have uh, 0.5 point 0.1 and point 0.8. So uh, with this data uh, we need to plot some tables and calculate the accuracy and also draw the lines. So uh, we have this diagram. So uh, this diagram something looks like this. So this is a graph. So in the y axis you have the TPR and on the x axis you have the FPR. So uh, this is the graph and you have one line like this. So here it means your TPR is equal to FPR 
and you have all these models so these are the coordinates of these models for m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 you have this uh, coordinate so uh, this basically is the x axis so this is the fpr axis and this is the tpr axis so similarly you can just uh, consider all these points so uh, what i considered is i have made one table so in this i have all the models that is m star m1 to m5 and for each of this i need to calculate uh, so how you will calculate this so you have this p value which is given and you need to calculate the a value for it that is the accuracy so in this equation i'll just input each of the values and for each of the values i'll calculate the a so i get for model m1 when i substitute uh, ps 0.5 and uh, when i uh, put the coordinates of tpr fpr for model 1 i get the accuracy as this much like uh, similarly for m2 m3 m4 m5 uh, for probability uh, 0.5 we get the accuracy values like this now in this uh, mathematically we can see uh, which is the highest accuracy or which model has got the highest accuracy so that is this one that is the third model since it has the highest accuracy of them all so similarly for uh, probability 0.1 uh, we calculate the accuracy value so here we get all the accuracy values and this has the highest accuracy and similarly for 0.8 we have these many so in this we have the highest accuracy for a model m5 now uh, this is the math part that we did uh, from calculating the equation now uh, how uh, we need to just plot the uh, lines on the graph or like on this how we just plot these lines so uh, for that it is did in this way so basically for p is equal to 0.5 we need to calculate the slope that is m so this slope is given by that is 1 minus p upon p so you get the slope as 1 now how you plot this lines so this lines are given by m is equal to tan theta so uh, you have this 1 is equal to tan theta so uh, theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 so we get 45 degrees so what you do is you uh, basically just uh, put a protractor here I hope you can see uh, that is this one and you draw one 45 degree line here so uh, okay you draw one 45 degree line here so you get this line similarly for m2 m3 m4 m5 you draw similar lines like this and you get this one and so uh, with the mathematical table you can just tally that is the model 3 which comes uh, ahead of all these lines so that is the best model for the class q that is 0.5 and similarly for point 0.1 that is for uh, skew class 0.1 we have this slope that is 9 so for this the theta value comes out to be uh, 83.65 so with this also we just if we put the protractor here and if we just estimate this as you can see we get this line that is 83.64 or something like 84 so similarly for all this you just need to uh, draw the lines so that you get the best model for this q that is this one and finally for the skew class that is 0 0.8 we get this slope as 0.25 so here we get theta as 14.03 degrees so similarly if we just uh, place the protractor and if we draw the line here corresponding to this that is if you can see that is this is something nearby 14 so you can draw lines for all these models and just you can determine that is which model is ahead so you can see that is model 5 is uh, the uh, most accurate one for probability pointed so that was all regarding the iso accuracy lines uh, in machine learning so hope you enjoyed this video if you are not educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video